everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a full day of eating today. I'm so excited. I have lots of delicious meals to show you guys today. So basically, we're gonna start off with breakfast this morning, which basically was a protein shake after my workout, which is typically what I have after my workouts. Basically, all it is is just oat milk. I have the Women's Best Vegan Protein Powder in there in berry flavor. We have half a frozen banana, a little bit of blueberries, fresh blueberries, fresh spinach, and I have some chia seeds that have been soaked in some nut milk. It's just easier for your body to digest the chia seeds rather than raw chia seeds. I also add a little bit of maca powder, whatever superfood you'd like. Blend it all together, and then I drink that as I'm getting ready to make my basically main meal or basically like my post-workout meal. Post-workout meal today, I'm having a pasta salad. So I made this pasta salad with chickpea pasta, so it's basically higher protein. And I'm also gonna add some tuna on top. You can add whatever kind of protein you'd like on top. So I'm gonna add some tuna on top, and let me show you guys my pasta salad. All right guys, so this is the pasta salad that I made last night. So basically, I'm just going to, this was in the fridge, I'm going to portion them up into little small containers. Um, and that's usually how or I find best to portion this. And then this makes about, honestly, like three or four servings. Obviously, you can add your protein in now. I just think that it's, it stays better if you add your protein in after or whenever you're like ready to eat it. So I'm gonna serve this up and get some tuna and it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> pasta salad put some tuna on there whole can it's a super high protein meal great for after your workouts um, also carbs and then it's also pretty low in fat so this is gonna help us metabolize our carbs a little better and I just love this meal it fills me up really good so I'm gonna have this I'm gonna put these other two containers in the fridge and then basically I already have lunch the next two days um, or dinner if I want to have it for dinner it's just great to always have stuff ready to go that way you stay on track um, so I like to make recipes that make multiple servings she, I work from home so I don't really like cooking all the time I like to just grab stuff out of the fridge so this is one thing you can make a bunch at once throw in the fridge actually tastes better the next day because it soaks everything up into the veggies and I will put the recipe below for you guys it's a very simple vegan recipe Boss just uses cashews lemon juice white wine vinegar um, garlic powder salt and pepper that's it and then for the veggies I just have celery red pepper onion and pickles and then the bonza chickpea is what I used here's the box sitting over here for cycles that's it I'm gonna go enjoy this get a little bit of editing done and I'll see you guys for my next meal which will be dinner or possibly a snack So for my snack, while I was doing some computer work, I had a bagel with peanut butter and honey. So, so good. This is one of my favorite snacks. It's just so satisfying, um, delicious. I use these gluten-free bagels and then just some regular plain peanut butter and then some local honey. Yeah, that's just my little snack. And now I'm gonna make my next meal, which is gonna be potato tacos. So basically I'm going to um, air fry some potatoes. I'm just gonna chop up my potatoes right here and then I'm also going to on the side make a little black bean to cook up some red onion, saute the red onion first and um, then also I'm going to add some roasted green chilies, a little bit of spice is my favorite and then I'm gonna top it off with some lettuce I have and then my tortillas are going to be the siete, um, cassava flour, or no this is the chickpea flour. I have the cassava flour ones also, those are really good. 
love this brand and then also some delicious cilantro and I also have some tomato so it's just gonna be a delicious little taco fiesta party I just love tacos literally I put black beans in them like today or I also have lentils that I like to put in them literally anything to make it a well-rounded protein source especially because I'm not putting meat in there we're gonna have this still has a decent amount of protein because of the black beans and the potatoes a little bit this thing these are from Amazon let me show you this onion is called a little food hugger and these things are great for when you're chopping up your vegetables especially for me I live alone so I'm always like not using the whole thing at once so I like to use these they have they come in different sizes for different fruits they have like the smaller ones that I use for cucumbers tomatoes whatever it is that you have these are handy dandy and they're linked below in my Amazon favorites so I'm gonna get this meal ready for you guys I'll show you the finished product actually a pretty quick meal. The air fryer at most takes about 15 minutes with the potatoes. I chop them into pretty small pieces and then season them. Throw them in there with just a little bit of spray avocado oil on there. And super, super quick. This meal takes 20 minutes tops. All right. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So basically, <clears throat> I have the mixture in there, the potatoes at the bottom, and then I have my extra potatoes over here. It's about 200 grams of potatoes, and then, you know, I just topped it with all the stuff that you saw, and then I'm also going to put this hot sauce on there, my favorite hot sauce. Like I said, this brand is amazing. Um, the ingredients are just really, really good on these. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this on top. Enjoy these tacos. Um, so we Highly recommend tacos literally for any meal. Honestly, you can make breakfast tacos, lunch tacos, dinner tacos, breakfast tacos, I don't know. Go crazy. I'm gonna do a quick little taste test for you. Not that I doubt that these aren't gonna be amazing, but you know, I want to get the full effect for the full day of eating video. All right, here we go. Cheers to taco night. Dish. You feel that so good? You just have to do a little dance. Because it just tastes so good. Alright, before I start inhaling this, I'm gonna be like not cute while I eat. I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'll see you guys for my next meal. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a little dessert and yogurt thing to finish off the day. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, to finish off this full day of eating, I'm going to have this so delicious salted caramel cluster. I've had this before. It's so good. They also have a key lime flavor. It's really good. Um, yeah, I'm going to have this really quickly. Get ready for bed and call it night. Um, and that is my full day of eating. You see new. Are you ready for sleep? with me every single night cuddle it's amazing you ready to go to bed huh say hi say hi say hi all right so i'm filming an outro to this video now thank you guys for watching the full day of eating it's obviously the next day now so last night i finished so noisy yawning over there ma'am so last night i finished the full day of eating with the yogurt little yogurt salted caramel so good so so good sorry i didn't film it i just like ate it really quick went to bed i was exhausted um so basically that is a full day of eating for me i eat pretty balanced i don't eat dairy anymore i haven't eaten dairy for two years now highly recommend if you have never tried it for me it just helped a lot number one clear up my skin number two i don't get bloated anymore like at all also try to eat gluten-free when available. I don't eat 100% gluten-free, but most of my breads are gluten-free. Yeah, that's basically just a full day of eating for me right now. I try to aim for around 
honestly, I try to aim for like 2,000 calories, but I'm probably closer to like 1,800-ish. I don't firmly track my macros anymore. I mostly just keep track of my protein and make sure that I'm getting protein in with every meal. So yesterday, as you saw, like the first meal, I had the protein shake, then I had the pasta salad with the tuna, which is a very high protein post-workout meal. And then we had, what else did I have? The tacos, those are pretty high protein and you can add more protein into those if needed. And then I had, what else did I have? I had the bagel with the peanut butter and then the yogurt. So I could have honestly had a little bit more protein yesterday. I could have added some more like lentils into the tacos to add extra protein just to try to hit like try to aim for like 100 grams a day i weigh about 125 130 right now so somewhere there is a good percentage i also have the macro calculator on my app if you're interested in calculating all your macros out for you it'll give you a really good idea of what you should be hitting daily plans in there i have the recipes in there and then the macro calculator show you exactly what you should be targeting so that you can be hitting those goals making sure that you're making the proper muscle gains um, dropping some fat and all that good stuff. So that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll have Ivy. Ivy say goodbye. Say bye to them. You're being so sweet. Uh -huh. I love when she's so sweet and nice to me. She's usually like, she has two moods. She's either sleepy like this and she's nice, or she's running around the house like a wild woman. Guys, I'll see you. Please don't try and make out with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.